Welcome back to Ship Happens. This is our journey on restoring HTML 1392, an ex harbour defence motor launch used in World War II. Today we're going to replace a web frame, get the knee back on, but first we've got to move these heavy blocks of lead out the way. So we're just moving over some ballast. Um, we've got a rope connected to a pulley up at the top on a strong point. Um, we've just moved one big block of lead over just so we can do all the replacement webs at the front so we're just sort of sliding the ballast back. Um, we haven't got a block and tackle so we're just doing it with sheer power and ropes aren't we? I've done one. <laughs> it, it, it went easier than I thought it would so on to the next. So we've actually got some scales as well so they're big lumps of lead then, aren't they? How about we get it down here and then we'll try and weigh it. Yeah. What do you think? Guess the weight. Guess the weight. Play, uh, play along at home. Okay, I'm going to say 60 kilograms. I'm going to say 80, 90. 90? Yeah. Wow, what did I say, 60? What do you think? Go on, put your comment in now. <laughs> Don't worry, just fast forward a bit, you'll find out. Okay, <laughs> now. Oh, wow. 100.6. 100 kilos. 100 kilos of lead, just that. Okay, you won. You said 90, I said 60. What, what did you guys guess? <laughs> Alright, so now we've got to get that from there to there. Okay. Easy. We can do that. 100 kilograms. Better than... Cheaper than gym membership, isn't it? But, right... Do you when you're always tired, when you run up and down stairs and stuff like that, you got to think... Yeah, I know it's a bit heavier than me, but... It's like, you, you're dragging that up and down a set of stairs all day. Your you body, yeah. <laughs> so, like, your legs are, like, that powerful, they can move that, so... Right, so you've got to move that there to there now. Okay, so you're going to assist on the on the pulley. How many kilos are you going to take? I'll take five. Five kilos as well. Every little helps that. Three, two, one. Okay, okay. that'll do for now. Just get rid of all the bits there, it's just going to be in our way. It's not spotless, but it will be one day. Alright, so I need to make a wedge. Big wedge, because originally the web frame come down and it, it tapered off because, because of the shape of the hole. But the web frames are quite straight, so the, they made it straight by putting a wedge in. So then it goes straight down to like the keel. So I'm going to make some of these. And I think Gemma's going to make there's some like infills up here and there, so I'm going to go make them and these, then Gemma's going to, what are you going to do? I'm going to, that string is fine there. This one and this one's really good. So I'm going to sand them back, I'm going to paint them, I'm going to paint the bits down there that the web frame's going to be going over. And then we'll meet in the middle. Yeah. Paint your boat time! You've missed that, haven't you? I have. And, well, I've been painting, but painting gel coats, which is... Gel coat doesn't... Gel coat's not as fun as grey paint. It doesn't have the ring, though, does it? Gel coat your boat Gel coat your boat now. Paint your boat. On the grey Cracks of a thousand leaves Somewhere in between Our past and our future Rolling over All the dividing things Are you still listening? Want to be heard by you Slow fall into Where the cold and the heart meet And the powers that be lead mm -hmm. Okay, 
Okay, so we're all painted. Just gotta wait for the paint to dry now. Yeah, yeah, sure, watch it. <laughs> Should we just go and have dinner? We'll be back Early in a minute. Dinner, yeah. Early dinner. Early dinner. Yay, we're winning today. It's good. Okay, so paint's dry ish. Um, so we're now gonna put all of our infills in. So we're gonna glue them and put a couple of screws in just to basically hold position until all the big nails go through. So let's go and find some glue. Wedge. Oh, tools are always so hard to reach when you're down in the bilge. Okay, so now we need to make the web frame. Well, he's cut it, sort the end out at the bottom where it meets the keel, and then where it matches the deck beam. It's just so pretty. Okay, so now as you cut that off, and hopefully it'll match the bottom if Jimmy didn't distract me enough. I didn't say anything. <laughs> She's pulling face in my hat. <laughs> Why did I do that? <laughs> right, what do you want? I'm going to do it with a handsaw. Handsaw? Moment of truth. Did we cut the angles the right way? <laughs> angles are a pain, you know. But we work with angles all the time, don't we? In, in, in doing the vans and stuff like that. But there is times where you do massive cock ups. <laughs> there you go. Me and angles don't get on. Obviously, I'm just about going to fit. Look, we're only get it up through there. <laughs> Another helper. No, no, no. Well, you got to get the front in first. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Big pieces of wood. Or a struggle. Right, just turn out. And then 
you need to bring the top in first. This side. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yes. So we're just going to shorten it down a little bit, so we fully get it into where we need to be to be able to mark it where we need to cut it off at the top. Okay, you run along. So now we've got to mark it at the top, cut it to the right length, and then we can start screwing it in. We're rovering it in. Rove, rove. Rove, rove, rove your boat. So I've got a ship tip of the day today already. Another one? Yes. Don't store saw blades up high <laughs> because you can bang your head on them <laughs> and then they can fall off have a cut yourself with them and uh, do you want to see Simon's neck? let me show you so yeah so what he did, he come into our new storeroom ta da! we had it organised this week and um these saw blades were here and he's banged his head, knocked it off and it fell down your top and, and it, it in, wounded in me. Oh. So don't keep your saw blades up high where you can bang the head and make them fall on you. <laughs> Could have been worse, couldn't it? What? Could have like Could sliced you. your artery. Yeah, no, 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 to be honest Could with you, I actually went like that. Like, I know what's just hit me, and I went, Gemma, could you just check me? And then I was alright. Yeah, because sometimes you don't feel the pain there, do you? So, valuable lesson learned, and hopefully hmm. you never do that. Learn by all mistakes. Yeah. Because they've been learned. <laughs> it's a good job I'm not scared of heights. <laughs> well, <gasps> I'm not really scared of falling from this height. It still hurt though, wouldn't it? Yeah. Like, so try it now. Might knock my piece of wood. <laughs> Alright, so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to mark where we're going to be drilling. We're going to pre drill the holes and then we can use screws then to basically clamp it all in, into position to hold it tight and then we can take a screw out and then we can put the nail through. Plan. Not too fixed in that one. Exciting. Right, time to cut it. Cool. Get your paint out. That, doesn't it? Yeah. It's actually a dinghy inflator, or just an inflatable inflator, but you can use it for like dusting and stuff like that, so. or drying your hair. <coughs> Obviously not the hair on my head, but you know, just for illustration purposes. <laughs> so I just started to like wire brush the um the keels to the all for painted. Never 
It's a good tool, this though. Wasn't this supposed to be for the workshop? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see up there for me? Is it weird now? Yeah, you need to just come on. Um, are you the right way round? So always make sure your wood is the right way, otherwise this happens. <laughs> Whose fault was that? I bet I get the blame. Do I just leave it to set or scrape no, it off? No, we'll, we'll scrape it off. We'll be wearing it, won't we? Yeah. Okay. Looks like I'm going sealant cleaning. So for now, I'm just using Harbour Freight screw fix special screws just to basically like. Don't lie, we're Harbour Freight, you're not in America. Harbour Freight, yeah, but it's got. Screw fix. People got to be late, haven't they, Jim? So, <laughs> screw fix is our really poor version of Harbour Freight, apparently. So, yeah, it's just getting fixed at the moment, then we can individually take a screw out and then put the fi couple of fixing in. The reason I'm using like steel ones are actually a lot stronger than stainless, so. And they're coming out in a minute when we put the copper in. Yeah. A lot of glue there. It just goes to show we all make mistakes. We're not perfect. Easy done. As I said about angles before, yeah. easy confused, aren't you? What are you gonna do now? So I've drew the short straw again. Um, I'm outside. Luckily, it's not winter anymore. Feels like it was winter last time we were here, wasn't it, Gem? Yeah. It's still a bit windy, though. It's a bit windy, so the audio might be a bit crap. But right, so where I'm working now is down there. So that's our lowest point. Ten. Okay. Right, I don't think I've sunk. I think I've sunk. Do I need to come and rescue you? Yeah? Uh, no, I'm going to make the hour in LI. Okay. Sweet. So, an issue we've got now is back in the workshop uh, a couple of weeks ago, Simon drilled out some roofs because these nails are really, really wide compared to the others. So that's one he drilled out because the original holes are like that big, balancing, see, and we've only got three of the ones that we've drilled out because um, they were quite an effort to drill out, we had to sort of clamp them in the lathe and stuff like that, so we're only going to be able to get three on now because there's no way we're getting that huge huge nail through that little hole so get three done for now i think that's where the hole was so i'm using sealants on it because it will also glue it together won't it but it actually helped it slip in because these nails are really difficult to drive so Just 
Tell me when you're ready. Uh, yes, no. Okay, so that's all the outside work done. It's actually high water, we're sitting like a seven metre or something at the moment, so... I love how all the ground starts to crack. Okay, so the web frame's attached. Uh, we've got like three, three copper nails and rows on, some threaded bar at the bottom. It's all nicely gluing now. Um, as Jeremy explained before, I think the um, we need to drill out some more of the, the rows because these are larger nails. Right, so we can put all the floors back in now. The soles. Put the sole back in the boat. Put your soul into the boat! Put it back into the boat. <laughs> No rocking. Oh. Cool. Our beams are set right. Time to put the knee on. So there we go. So obviously we're not putting copper nails in this at the moment. So we'll just thread the bar it up temporarily until we've got some more big copper roofs. And we'll probably do the final screw of them all when we are replacing the deck. I'm gonna get the back one in. I'm not massively fussed about it, but just try. You could use a, you could use a ratchet, couldn't you? Ooh, do it by hand. Yeah. Go on then. Yeah. Old school. Let's use that. You have to give me an end line. You're on it already. <laughs> Got some new hammers. We're going to be making a hammer wall, so I'll show I'll show all these off in a later video. Got a full set now. Let me just. Thank you, Jonathan. Yeah, thank you. Righty tighty. Is it, is it biting quite well? Yes. Right? Beautiful ass. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say, it's nothing great, that. <laughs> I love my boat. Yeah, she's getting there, isn't she? Yeah. Super. Cool. Right. So. I don't, I don't know how to do, do these now. We need to tighten them up. From the outside, yeah. temporarily, till the copper nails go I think in. People know that, don't they? I know, but you've got to say, because otherwise people go, oh, you shouldn't be putting. That in there. It's only temporary. I have. I feel like I've got to say stuff so people don't shout okay, at us. You say it. People shout at me a lot. Do they? Doing it wrong. Well, I wonder. I wonder how they're doing their boat though. Mm. That's the thing. Do you yeah. like 
why don't they show off on the YouTube video on how to do it? Yeah. And there you go. Alright, go on. So, we can now get rid of this piece of wood. Yay! <laughs> Coming out. Okay. It's coming out. Oh, well, I'll stand over it. <laughs> Look, it falls on my head. <laughs> there we go. It's out. <laughs> what did you think was going to happen? <laughs> the roof is going to cave in. <laughs> Hold on, let me move this out of the way. Are you modeling? What, what I was trying to show is like, you can see the curvature of, of this frame here, but then the frame would just fit over there. So this one curves that way and this that one curves that way, so you can... It's quite cool, but this, the one we've just fitted now, really starts to curve towards towards the keel. It's actually quite beautiful. There we go. We're framing. Yeah, fantastic. Really, really cool. Yeah. So obviously we know we've got to come back and finish the copper nails and robes. That's the easy bit, really. Just sort of drilling yeah. all, and just getting it all in position and bending it to shape and persuading it without breaking it. And... So six more to go on this side, and then the starboard side will nearly be complete. Yeah, and we can start filling this area full of junk then, can't yeah. we? So since it's still light outside, okay. why don't we go for a little explore around the boatyard and go and look at some boats? Yeah, there's some actually pretty cool, interesting boats. There is. Yeah. So. And we never really get time to explore the yeah. area, so let's go and have a quick boatyard tour. Ooh.
they, apart from Sorinda, this is my second favourite boat in this boatyard. Uh, it's concrete, it's a concrete boat. I just love the style to it. So walking around the boatyard, it makes you sort of realise like how many unloved boats there are. Yeah. That this was probably Surinder's fate. This would have been Surinder, wouldn't it? Just lying here for years and years and years mm. and rotting away. Yeah. And it's like we may not be doing everything perfect and we may not be qualified shit rights, but without us stepping in and yeah, saving her, intervening, you know, yeah, yeah. this is where in a couple of years time she would have been. Yeah. So it makes me feel really proud of yeah, what we're doing saving her. and she's not just getting left to rot away, she's actually coming back to life so yeah. I'm really glad that we're Which, doing it. A lot of these boats are beyond, beyond yeah. the... Um... I don't know, what you think? Next project? Yeah, we'll soon have that going. <laughs> So, thank you so much for watching. Yeah, cheers, guys. See you all next week. Bye. 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 bye.